violencia en Tijuana, yo la noté a partir del 2007, del año 2007. Este, como bien sabemos, en todo el mundo hay muchos grupos delictivos, muchas guerrillas, entonces prácticamente hay muchos cárteles aquí en Tijuana. En Tijuana mayormente se da lo que es el vandalismo y las adicciones. En mi colonia hay demasiadas adicciones, demasiado vandalismo y cosas así. Yo creo que eso es lo más relevante. Y también la desintegración familiar. Ha sido kind of hard ver how this city that I love has been going down a couple of years, a lot of organized crime, narc traffic, a lot of issues has been going on in the city. We have lost a lot. We have lost the innocence of the people. What was like cultural, everything, music everywhere turned out into total silence. What I'm trying to do through this program is to connect different individuals, mostly youths around the world, who are working in peace and support them. And our programs do that, uh, working with different individuals in different countries, supporting them in their goals towards building peace and, uh, and hopefully uh, making a difference in, in the planet from that. We decided that Tijuana was a great place because some of certain types of conflict are, have, have eased here. There's still, there's still others, but it was enough room for us to go in and hopefully if we get the right kids and we work hard and partnership with everyone, we can make a real impact in Tijuana. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. I'm really excited to be here with you. I have been waiting for this day to begin. We designed the program to help them to take out from the inside, from them, uh, the best the best uh, desires, the best uh, uh, motivations, and, uh, and the confidence that they will, will be able to change the course of their lives, you know, and help others. The idea is during the first year to help them to define and start developing the action plan and giving them training and support in, in the in, in the first stage. The second stage will be the other two years where we will be helping them to uh, expand the action plan. We have a toolkit that's designed to help the youth create the programs that they want within their communities. Anything from creating an art center to creating um, you know, animal protection activities, whatever they want. But I just want to guide them through that process of thinking, how do they want to organize themselves? How do they want to achieve what they set out to do. Ah, pues yo cuando tenía muchos problemas en mi casa, me mandaron a un lugar que se llama el Club de Niños y Niñas de Tijuana. Entonces, yo me enamoré de ese lugar, entonces pensé, si esto me sacó a mí, tal vez yo pueda hacer como una especie de programa o un lugar donde alguien pueda entretenerse, eh, divirtiéndose y expresándose sanamente, porque eso fue lo que de una manera me sacó a mí. Planeo seguir con una casa hogar a la cual ayudo. Entonces, planeo tener muchas casas hogares y así pues creo que se evitaría un poco lo que viene siendo la violencia, entre otras cosas. Erickson has supplied the use with computers and phones. Uh, as well as ICT training or uh, communication training on those computers and phones, which is really crucial to the mission of, of, of the foundation. What attracted us really to this initiative was um, the element around peace. I mean, there's, there's so many conflicts in the world today and there's a whole new generation of youth coming up that are part of the network society. And we wanted to see how can we help um, influence future leaders to be a force for good in the world through a, a really positive contribution that technology could make. The technology base of what, of what this program uh, uses is, is really high. Because of the time we're in, 
because of the effect they can have by connecting to other organizations, connecting to other people, being able to bring more, more resources to bear because they, are, they have the capability to touch those people and talk to them, being able to educate themselves on subjects that they couldn't, couldn't do before. So many, so many ways uh, that uh, this technology is helping them to work for good. Baba fururu ilerio o kanyinye ileribo Baba fururu ilerio this program is a very holistic program. It deals in a way with the body, mind, and spirit uh, to build self-esteem, uh, to build uh, your internal life and strength, to find inner peace. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be training in conflict transformation, how to deal with conflict in your life and, and in the world. They'll also be learning yoga techniques, breathing techniques, movement techniques to build, to build peace and shed themselves of certain emotional things. And they'll also be learning more about um, their own care of self, uh, which will be taught through the wellness program about how to deal with your issues, your mind, and how to like allow yourself to find happiness in your life. If we have good people with good ideas and, uh, I mean, uh, with good intentions, uh, I mean, everything is possible. This is our goal. And if we can affect just these individuals' lives, then we'll have succeeded in some way. And I believe, from what I've observed in the kids that we've seen, that they're going to be really active in making a difference and making a change. If you have rock bottom in your city, there's no deeper to go. Just rock bottom. The only thing that you can do is start going up, start building yourself, rebuild everything. We can do that in any place. Every human being has that very exceptional potential. So we can do that. There's no impossibles.